I'm going to show you how to do unions in Tableau Prep. And before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's get started in Tableau Prep. To follow along, you're going to need a data set, and the data set is in the description below, and it contains, it's an Excel spreadsheet with two sheets in them, and we're going to bring it in, and probably if you've been following my videos up until this point, whenever you bring a data set in, it automatically brings it into the canvas as well. Now that's only true when there's only one data set in that data set, right? But in this particular Excel spreadsheet, we have multiple sheets, so we actually have to bring those data sets in separately. So we're going to bring the first one in like so, and then the second one in as well. All right, let's have a look. So upon first inspection, the data sets look exactly the same. And what we want to do is a union. So a union is basically, if these are my two data sets, I want to go and just put it one on top of the other. And when is this useful? Well, let's say I have a master data set and every day I get a new data set from a system saying these are today's values. And you just want to keep adding it to the bottom because maybe this feeds into a visualization. And then by feeding it underneath, the visualization updates. Pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead with the union. So similar to a join, if you saw that video, is we take one data set, right? And we hover over another and you're going to see the word union underneath. So you want to drop it when it turns orange. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you're going to see this little symbol here. And let's go through how to actually uh, read this. All right. So the you have the pink flow. You have the kind of gray flow. And you can see these are the results here. And you'll see all the mismatched fields. Now, when will unions result in a mismatch? A lot of the times it's because the field headings aren't the same. So you can see here we've got segment and segment, we've got category and category, sales and sales. And what you also notice is every time I click on it, Tableau is actually giving me a recommendation saying this is the closest one, but I'm not sure. So I'm just suggesting it to you. So there's a few ways we can say, well, it is the right one. Let's merge them together. The first way is um, by clicking the one you're interested in. So let's say segment. Right, and you're going to see this other one, and you'll see this little plus symbol. You just want to click on that. Right? And then that will merge them. It's no longer a mismatched field. Another way you can do it is if I bring category from here over. Right. Um, one other thing you'll notice is this right here, this little bar. And what this is, is it's a split of the color type. So if it's pink, it means we have a pink data set, but then it doesn't exist in the gray. And then in the next one, which is category, it's empty in the left side, but it's filled in the gray. And what we really want is when the data sets exist in both and they have the same name, it'll look more like this pink and gray right next to each other. All right. So we're going to merge these. And one way you can do it is simply grab one and drop it on top of the other. So you got to wait for the whole thing to turn gray, as you can see and that will merge them together. That's the other way. Another way you can do it is instead of doing a merge this way, you can actually go back a step, All right? So let's go into this, let's look for this sales one. I can actually go in here, click this plus button and go clean step. Oh, hang on, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. Undo, there should be, yep, sorry. This was a recent change. So if you hover over this and you go up a little bit, right, or along the line, you'll see another plus, right? And that will insert a step along the existing flow of data, right? So let's do that again, just so you can see it, because that is a little tricky. So if I just go up above, you'll see a little plus come up, right? Clean step. Let's try it for this one. If I go forward, you can see there's a second plus. And that just adds one in between. All right. So in here, we're going to look for that sales heading. And let's just correct it here. So I can right click, rename field, sales, go back into union, and you'll see that sales is now gone. But in terms of unioning, I mean, you can see that took a little, a little while. So I tend to not even bother with that. I just do it from here because I can just eyeball. They're the same. Hit that plus. And that's it. Now you can do this for two, 
unioning two things, three things, four things, five things, ten things. If you want to see that, um, drop a comment saying big massive union. <laughs> and I'll do a video on that for you as well. If you like this video, drop a giant like. That helps with the YouTube algorithm a lot, a hell of a lot. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I release new videos three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, have a good day and bye.